welcome everyone to today's webinar. Uh, we appreciate your time um, this afternoon. Uh, so we're gonna take the next like 15, 20 minutes or so, and just review a quick presentation on Starship, right? Kind of its main features, what it offers over our ship gear program. Um, and just, we just wanna thank all of you for joining and, and really using ship gear over these you know, last uh, 20 or so years that it's been around. Um, as many of you know, now that it's gonna be sunset here at the end of the year. Um, so we are gonna talk more about Starship, right? And kind of the urgency that we're running up against um, of getting everyone on board to the program as quick as we can. Um, so we don't have anyone kind of uh, using a solution that's no longer supported, right? So, uh, but again, we're gonna take the next 15 to 20 minutes to review that um, and go through some information and hopefully find some, uh, find it very useful for you. Okay, um, so just a little bit, um, I mean, obviously many of you know who we are, so I'm not gonna you know, bore everyone with those details, but I just wanna kind of just you know, let you know that Starship has really been around since 1989. Um, many of our ship gear users that I at least have a privilege of speaking to um, think ship gear has been around the longest, but actually Starship is our flagship product. Um, it was designed back in 1989 to work with a variety of different ERPs. Uh, and on today's webinar, we have kind of a mixture um, of everyone using different ERPs today, so which was great to see. Um, so again, and we've been really um, beneficial to using uh, these integrations and, and supplying you um, with the information needed to integrate with the variety of ERPs we do today. Um, back in 2022, um, UPS recognized us as the UPS Ready 2022 Premier Partner of the Year. Um, so we're very grateful for that award as well. Um, and achieving that, it was awarded to essentially five partners that they work with uh, throughout the country. Uh, we were one of those five. Um, so we, we uh, really are um, grateful for them and the partnership they provide. So we can provide you that um, you know, partnership as well and using that through our application. So I'm gonna just spend a little bit of time talking about the advantages that we have over uh, what you may be accustomed to using today with Shipgear. Um, so really when we look at Starship, we look at, you know, kind of the uh, main advantage, which is really supplying you with a parcel and LTL shipping platform. Um, many customers will use it strictly for parcel, which is fine and no problem at all, uh, but others will use it to automate their LTL processing. Um, so you really have that option as you look at our Starship application in greater detail, um, kind of determine what's, you know, more beneficial and where do you want to use it in your environment. Um, also, a secondary point here, leveraging line item detail. Um, the line item detail is um, probably new to all of you, but we bring in all your line items from your various ERPs you're using today um, to really help us automate the documents for any international shipping you're doing, any LTL shipping with the bill of lading, and anyone using hazardous profiles today. Um, we can supply you with hazmat paperwork as well through our Starship application to simplify and streamline that process. So all of those, we leverage the line item detail by providing in, in the Starship database, uh, providing the details needed to populate onto these various documents. So again, it can streamline the process. You as a user don't have to input this every single time. Uh, we hear from a lot of international shippers specifically, how cumbersome, how um, tedious the international processing is. Um, we didn't, uh, I feel have done, done a great job in Starship of simplifying that, streamlining it so it can open up potential new markets for you. Also, we may have some drop shippers on the call today, right? So if you are drop shipping on behalf of anyone, we can help you with that process as well, providing various sender IDs to show up on a label or a bill of lading, help disguise those shipments as best as possible, um, really, um, you know, kind of in tandem, uh, working in setting up third-party IDs, right? So which, you know, you can, uh, bill other third-party accounts uh, very easily uh, when it comes to drop shipping. Um, so again, kind of those two in tandem work together. Um, but again, the drop shipping piece, we work with a lot of customers in this in, in this arena um, to really automate that process for you and pulling that from your ERP system. Um, consolidation of orders. Um, we have a lot of users who will have multiple orders to the same customer. Um, that want to consolidate into one shipment. Again, Starship can make, uh, do that very easily for you and um, process each individual sales order um, you know, with the individual tracking numbers associated. So again, uh, if you're doing any consolidation or looking to do consolidation, again, we can talk to you further about that. Um, rate shopping, 
one of the main points here on this slide. Again, what Starship is designed to do is take all of your accounts, put them into one place, and have you rate shop that with your negotiated rates. Um, so you can see from lowest to highest who has the best rate, maybe the fastest transit time, but again, giving you one place to view those rates uh, versus you having to go to separate portals, separate websites to get those rates individually for the same shipment, um, just saving you all that time. And then giving you a dashboard with a variety of metrics, right, from a distribution map to various charts and reports, pretty much all the information you need um, to have better discussions at the negotiation table with the carriers, um, better discussions internally to maybe look at expansion, um, you know, for locations, uh, or just simply looking at where you're distributing product to and opening up new markets. Um, so again, it's just the, giving you those uh, that data set essentially to uh, make those decisions as best as uh, you need them to. So again, just uh, keep that in mind as you look at it as a value added too. And I have some information here on the back end as well to show you. So again, as I mentioned, um, we have a variety of uh, users today on the call, not from any ERP um, specific um, company we support, but these are all the variety of ERPs that Starship can work with today. Um, so again, if you are using one of these or looking to make a switch to a different ERP, again, these are all the variety of ERPs we support. Um, we also have a few inventory uh, management solutions on here. We also work with variety of EDI platforms in the Starship space as well that Shipgear doesn't work in. So if you are an EDI um, shipper and you're using EDI platforms such as like True Commerce or Data Masons or SPS Commerce, please speak with us. We can help you with those workflows um, as well, when, especially when it comes to ASNs um, that are needed. And then also some other WMS applications in the Sage uh, environment as well as Microsoft applications as well. So again, Definitely a lot more options than Shipgear offers, but just wanted to put that up there so people can see who we work with on a day-to-day -day basis. So when we look at Starship, or you know, we're looking at a true cloud environment, right? Where Starship's going to be, you know, we don't have a local server any longer that we're going to install, kind of like you know, in the Shipgear application. It's on-premise based. Starship is running in the cloud. Um, you're going to be just logging into a URL every single day. But why do you want to go in the cloud, right? So Again, Starship, it's basically always running on the latest version. We don't have to worry about having you on a two-year-old version, not taking advantage of all the newest and greatest features that the carriers are offering, keeping you up to date on those, giving you access to unlimited users. So no more user counts, um, all the carriers that Starship can support, right? Which I have a slide here in a moment to show you as well. Um, also reduction of IT expenses. Um, so many of you will call an outside IT company in or have an IT company in-house. Again, it's costing money to run these upgrades, especially when we look at, you know, an on-premise application and how frequent updates are coming out. Um, again, we remove that need, right? We don't have to worry about scheduling at off hours or during the day and in, in, in interrupting business. Again, we're kind of reducing all of those uh, miscellaneous expenses. And then again, being able to restrict access to various users on certain functions, what they can and can't do as well. So again, a lot here, there's a lot more reasons why it, it, we look in the cloud, but, but these are sort of the main points that we sort of address as we speak to you as well and other customers. And I just put this up here as a quick little slide, right, just to make sure everyone is aware. So as we look at Starship and because you're all using Shipgear, as you know, Shipgear today utilizes UPS World Ship and FedEx Ship Manager. Those applications will also go away as you make the migration into Starship. Um, we do not use those applications. Starship is, a, as I mentioned, a full shipping solution. It's not a middleware like Shipgear was. Um, we use your negotiated rates with those carriers along with any LTL carriers you may be working with um, to load into Starship so you can see your negotiated rates very easily um, and print all the standard documents that you see today from those applications. This is the quick slide on our various carriers and 3PLs that we support both here in the US as well as Canada. Um, so again, you'll have access to all of these using our Starship platform. Um, I always like to call out if you don't see a carrier on here that you are using on a day-to-day -day basis, week-to-week -week basis, don't think that you can't be you know, supported right with Starship. We do have other modules like a bill of lading module for LTL that we can help with and process a bill of lading for you for essentially any carrier. It just doesn't give you rates uh, in Starship, 
but at least get you the bill leading, potentially a pro number sent back into your ERP. Um, so just, you know, as you talk to your sales rep and uh, who you'll be following up with, right, they can talk to you more about your carrier list, but I wanted to give you a snapshot of who we can support from a rate coding perspective uh, anyway, so you at least can see that. And then, as I mentioned earlier, the full dashboard, right? This is just a glimpse of what you may see on your dashboard. Um, we have the distribution map there in the right corner with all the various different colors, right? And kind of showing you where you're hot and heavy uh, in certain lanes and then others where you're very cool, right? And you're not shipping much product at all. Those can be areas of concern, areas of you know, potential uh, new markets uh, for you to, to investigate. Um, but also maybe better to sit down with your carrier reps and negotiate better discounts. Um, so giving you that information at your fingertips is super helpful. Um, also maybe quick glances of like your top you know carriers you're shipping with, how many how many packages you're you're shipping in a week to week basis, the trends that you may see. Um, so again, you have access to all of this um, out of the box. Um, there's no you know extra costs associated for all this information. We're just trying to give you as much as we can. Uh, from a shipping platform so you can have these types of conversations or at least inquiries you know as needed internally so as we start looking at um, some various things here one thing that we also support is another value added tool is called our e-notify it's really help you know helping with reducing your inbound calls to customer service right so many of you might get those calls today right tracking packages you know having to go back to shipping pulling a piece of paper whatever it may be um, this is designed, and again, you can create these templates as you see fit. Um, you can have multiple templates you know, set up for you if you like. Um, you can have logos like I have here as an example. You can have just straight out content, um, put anything like PO number, sales order, invoice number, um, estimated arrival dates. Um, I even inserted a chart here with multiple tracking numbers. Uh, this happens to be going UPS right, all the contents associated with each package. So you can do things like this and provide this to your customer in real time. Um, you can also um, do this at the end of the day, which is my recommendation, um, where we batch all the emails together. So we release them as the carriers have all picked up their packages for the day. Um, and then that way your customers start to track those on, them, on their own. Um, in case of say UPS fails to make a pickup, um, we can turn those off or you can turn those off at the end of the day before you leave and make sure that you don't have a fire drill coming tomorrow morning where customers are calling you saying, hey, where's my package? Where's my package? Um, so again, you have full control of when those are released. Um, so again, great tool, um, great way to give your customers that insight um, better than what say a quantum view or maybe an insight program can do, right? Just a bit more color around everything you're shipping. Just as a quick snapshot of our screen, since we're not gonna be doing a demo today, um, but we're happy to demo the application um, for each of you if you like to see it. Um, but this is just an example of what the screen on the top half would look like, right? Everything is on one screen for you. Um, and then the bottom half here is just showing you sort of a rate shop with parcel, right? Um, so again, we have the option of you know rate shopping all of your parcel carriers together. We can do a mix and match, meaning we can put LTL carriers in the same rate shop, right, as they um, are applicable. Um, and then again, sorting lowest to highest, right? Making sure that in this case, UPS Ground was the lowest option um, and choosing that for you. But it kind of gives you a good glance of all the various services, the transit times, the cost all right in front of you. So again, you can click any box you like to use and go ahead and print that label at this time. This just gives you the same view, but just as LTL, right? So again, um, here, we're just showing you various LTL carriers. Again, being able to pick the right option you wanna pick. Um, again, you can have a combination of both as long as it's applicable. It will show you those available carriers for that particular shipping lane. Um, just note that uh, Starship is smart enough because we use APIs to make calls, right? If a specific carrier is not applicable to that shipping lane, it's not gonna be displayed, right? So we're not gonna tell you you can ship, you know, say from California, um, to Oregon via, say, Southeastern lines, right? Um, because they're not in that market, right? So we're gonna make sure we don't provide that information to you so you make that mistake in providing a bill lady for the wrong carrier. Again, just to show you some examples here, right? This is a simple label and a pack list together. Starship can create for you as a combined document. 
you have the option of tearing off the label there and putting that on the box. You can fold this down in half. That's your packing list. Again, we can create custom packing lists um, as needed. We can create basically an out-of-box packing list with no logos on there if you like, um, all the contents associated to the shipment. Uh, but again, really get creative or don't have to print the packing list at all. Just print the standard label and off and running you go. So um, you really have some options when it comes to printing. Um, it's just whatever you're comfortable with and what you want to see printed at the end of the day. So um, what are you waiting for, right? So um, my favorite slide here. Um, so again, um, as we sort of close out, um, you know, we're about now getting into about four or five months remaining um, here with Shipgear. Um, as you know, we're not putting any more bug fixes or enhancements into the product, right? All of our developers working uh, here um, are focused on our Starship product and making that a better and better product every day. Um, so those fixes and enhancements are not being done any longer. So if something were to go awry with your ship gear application, we're sort of stuck, right? The only option is to get you onto Starship as quickly as we can. Um, so we're kind of treading a fine line right now. Uh, we still have about 650 customers roughly still utilizing the program today um, that haven't made a decision one way or another, right? Are they going to convert over? Are they going to look for something alternative? Um, are they going to do things manually? Um, but we still have a good group of customers that we still need to get onto the platform, which right now we're experiencing about a nine week backlog. So we're booking appointments into the latter part of September um, for a kickoff call. And then depending on the complexity of the project, we can be looking at anywhere from another three to say five weeks uh, of time to implement and train everybody on the program. Um, so again, we expect this um, wait time right to exceed 12 weeks probably by the end of the summer as more and more of these users start to hit them you know uh, and commit over to starship so it is best to get a decision made as quick as possible so we can ensure that we do have availability as we get into you know q4 uh and, ed and head towards the end of the year um so again you're paying higher fees you know as you're all aware I and mean, starship your ship gears pricing went up back in october it's a limited integration with no enhancements, you know. So again, we encourage you to kind of start looking at Starship a little closer, um, and again, get onto the product as soon as you can, um, because we just don't want to leave everybody, you know, at the end of the year and saying, well, now there's no longer any support, and potentially if UPS runs an upgrade, ship gear is going to break, right? So that is a definitive, um, and now we're in a, really a struggle, right, um, to figure out a solution for you. So. Yeah, we don't want to see that happen to anybody, and we hope that, you know, we can see you on the other side, on the Starship side here soon. So with that being said, um, I'm going to thank everybody for attending.